Well, hello everybody. Welcome back. Josh here with Josh's Lawn and Landscape. Sorry, a little out of breath. Well, short of breath, I guess you could say, because I just got through sliding the deck back up under the Z track. So I got it back, and what I'll do is I'm going to turn the camera around and um, try to get y'all some footage of getting this thing put back together. And um, I want to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the channel, commented, liked the videos. As always, I do appreciate it. Thank y'all very much. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down at the bottom. And leave me a thumbs up when the video's over if you enjoyed it. And comment your thoughts on it. Let me know what y'all think about uh, everything. So, still got my Sharpie in there. So, um, trying out a new phone. So... Um, hopefully I'll be able to get this right uh, this one actually has a time-lapse feature so hey y'all might start getting some time-lapse video Woo -hoo. Uh, but we'll see if when and if I get to use that so um, let me get the camera turned around and I'll talk about this and what's going on uh, tomorrow because as you can see I'm in the shop at the light zone it's dark out so once again a little nighttime working, got to keep it going. So let's do it. So there, as you can see, I got the deck slid back up in here. It's not attached. Um, and what it'll be is it's simply four mounting points. Um, one is here, and you have the hangers, which will slide over this, well, kind of over this bolt. But this nut. If you want to call it, you can see where the hanger rides on it. Um, it'll pick the deck up um, and slide this through the loop and let the hanger sit on this and tighten this up. This is a 16 millimeter and this is a 15 millimeter head on this. So you'll need a wrench and then you can use a impact socket or just a socket on a small impact to put that back on there. Um, on the back, you see you have the mounting bracket you have the hanger here and you have your lift arm which travels along here um, this goes to this side of the bracket and this goes to the inside um, it lines up I just got it hanging with a zip tie at the moment this is the bolt that actually sticks through this way and you can see it's like a carriage bolt it's got a square head on it and it's square slotted on the other side so once you get it in there and tighten the lock nut down on it um, which is an 18 millimeter sorry I got my finger in front of the camera there uh, 18 millimeter nut here you can slide it through into this arm through this hanger out this side and then the nut goes on it and you'll tighten it down so that's pretty much it there's let's say front hanger rear hanger same thing on the other side and then once I get all that done uh, I'll put the belt back on one thing I'll have to do with the belt is this little boot here will um, I don't know if I can get this arm back far enough to get the belt under this loop but if not then I'll just loosen this up to where the belt will go on uh, we'll make that work so and then recycle the belt through the pulleys and have everything going so that's what's going on there and uh, tomorrow I will have uh, the Z track hopefully I'll get this together this evening um, and then I'll have the quick tracks on the trailer I'm gonna take it off and put a fresh set of blades um, the blades that I ordered for it came in today so you can see them here these are the predator blades so this is the same blade essentially well it is it's the same company it's a uh, predator blade this is uh, made by a company I believe it's called uh, XHT uh, I found these on eBay this is an 18 inch blade with a 5 8 center hole um, so you can look it up you can actually search by the length and center hole you can 18 inch uh space 5 8 mower blade i think is how i looked it up 
Um, but these were only, I think they were $39. Something like $39. No, they weren't even that. They were, excuse me, they were $29 and something for the set of three. So I got two sets. I've got another one hanging on the wall there. Um, both of these two sets cost less than what I could get them from from my John Deere dealer. So um, I'll probably be buying some more of them. But like I say, eBay, check them out. If you got a blade number, and I verify that because I took the blade number there, B1PD5008, and asked the dealer to look it up and give me a price on them, and they were, I think, $19 a blade, almost $20 a blade. So you look at uh, between $55 and $60 for a set, and I got both of these with tax for less than $75, two sets. So that's that. So I'm going to try to set up, maybe get maybe get some time lapse of me trying to put this thing back together. Y'all don't laugh too much. This sucker is heavy. Um, here's the spot that was repaired, uh, painted over, and it's got a quarter inch plate underneath it, and then the hole is welded up. And he also uh, touched up a couple other spots. So a uh, big shout out to my brother Scott for um, getting this done for me and uh getting it back i think he had the deck for about two days so uh big thanks to him for getting this back going and uh i'm gonna see if i can get set up and get some possibly some time lapse of trying to put this thing back on we'll see how it pans out and i'll be back to discuss what's going on tomorrow and close it out Well, all right, so hope you kind of got a good idea of that. Got a little assist from the uh, floor jack just to jack the deck up. It's pretty heavy trying to hold that thing up and line up the uh, bolt there. Uh, one uh, miscommunication early on is this is not a 15 and a 16. This is a 15 on the back, and this is actually a 19 here so that these hangers go on. So that's that. Um, what I'm going to do now is... I've got to take the uh, deck rollers and lift them back up. I've actually got them down so that when I took the deck off, it wouldn't be dragging the ground. So I just got to take the four side rollers off and um, get those put back at the right height uh, in the slots for when I cut the grass. So I um, had to think about what I was going to say there for a second. It's getting late, y'all. So I'm going to get these thrown back on here. And uh, maybe get a little bit of footage of that. And then um, we'll get this bad boy loaded up and get the blade swapped out on a quick track for tomorrow.
All right, y'all. So, whew, excuse me. You see me do the deck rollers? Got the deck mounted back. Belts back on. Uh, tensioner pulley here. Uh, that bracket right there has a half inch drive square in it. Uh, just put a pull handle in it. Spring it back. What I, what I did was took it off of this pulley and let it be loose so I could pull it back and get it on the back pulley. And then I come up here, pulled tension on it, and then just kind of pulled it around this pulley as I pushed the handle that way to um, give it a little more, uh, a little less tension in this area so it'll go on this pulley. So it's a lot easier to do it with one person when you do it that way. So it's kind of hard to get back there and try to pull the pull handle back from underneath the mower and put it on the back pulley. So I always put it on that pulley. And then this is the most open one up here to, to put it on. So um, got that on there. Got it tightened back up. Uh, did have to loosen that little L bracket there to get the belt back on here. But that's okay. That's a 13 millimeter. Just loosen it up. Fold it out of your way. Put the belt on. Pull it back in kind of close. And uh, tighten it back up. So The Z-Track is back together. So I'm going to... Check out the blades for the quick track, get this loaded up, and uh, try to wrap this one up. So y'all stick around. So before I close this one out, real quick, just want to say, uh, got the deck on, all that good stuff. I'm fixing to change the blades on the quick track, so I'll turn the camera around in a second. And uh, just to let you know, tomorrow, um, I did bump a couple of lawns to Monday. I reached out to the customer for the pine straw job and he said come on so i've got a couple of lawns to mow first part of the day tomorrow and then it will be uh pine straw tomorrow afternoon so don't know what kind of footage i'll get i'll try to get some for y'all and uh maybe some more uh time lapse like was in this video so uh we'll see how that all turns out so let me get the camera turned around and we'll get it closed out all right so you see quick track in here Got my impact blades and wrench. So just gonna close this one out, but wanted to uh, just get y'all a little view of the of little John. Quick track in here. I'm gonna run the uh, again the XHT Predator blades. Uh, so I got the deck down. I gotta have it down to get the uh, pulley covers off. So I'm gonna take those off. It's a 15 16 socket and wrench. So because uh, it's got a pass through bolt in it. So I'm going to get those swapped out, get it loaded up, and then um, be ready for tomorrow. And I had to remember to uh, gas it up. I got some gas in the back of the truck, but uh, getting a little low there from running it the past uh, few videos. But um, so that's that. Uh, remounting the deck on the Z-Track. So again, the nut that goes on the bolt in the back bracket is uh, 18 millimeter on the front hanger. The bolt that goes through is a 15 millimeter and the little uh, hanger bolt spacer kind of thing that goes, I don't know what you call it, uh, but that's a 19 millimeter that goes on the outside that the hanger actually sits on and then tightens up against it. And then um, the little L-shaped bracket on the pulley, on the tensioner pulley to allow the belt on and off is a 13 millimeter up on top with a half inch drive in that bracket to be able to release the tension off of the belt so that you can put it on there and again uh, my preference is just to put it on that back pulley and then uh, pull tension through and then release tension off as you pull the belt up to go on that other pulley that i pointed out so uh, hopefully the time lapse footage turns out all right it's my first time doing that so y'all let me know what y'all think so a new little uh weapon in the arsenal i guess of videos now that i got the uh, new phone my other phone wasn't able to do that and i don't have a gopro so uh, but i did upgrade my phone today i've had that other phone about three years it's kind of been acting up a little bit so i uh, moved up to a uh, google pixel uh, 6 pro which is uh, what i'll be using to do the video and the stuff with in case anybody's wondering so let me know how the footage turns out um thank y'all for taking the time to watch Everybody who has subscribed to the channel, liked the videos, commented. Uh, thank y'all once again. And uh, hopefully this video turns out well and is helpful to somebody. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. 
Thank y'all once again, as always. Y'all be safe. Be kind. Be blessed. I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, everybody.